Hey, this is Rob following up on my Hockey Puck LED warning light system that you may have saw the first video. So this is out in the real life here, so we'll see how it works. If you hadn't seen it, basically I took a hockey puck, got some LED uh, lights that go in an auto assembly type of setup, drilled a hole and put the hockey puck, or the uh, rather the light assembly through the hockey puck, drilled the hole put some spade connectors on it to uh, run power to it. Okay, to get power to each hockey puck, what I did is I uh, got an extension cord and uh, put um, little pigtail spade connectors that match the spade connectors to the hockey puck assembly on the extension cord in uh, parallel. And then that run out to the back. Okay, so on this particular side, there's the first hockey puck assembly and I have it at uh, attached to the asphalt by the butyl pads. It's the stuff that holds the dots on the freeway. So it shouldn't uh, even come off even if a car hits it. At least that's what we're hoping. Now what I'm going to be doing is taking gaffer's tape or something to uh, hold down the extension cord uh, to the asphalt so it doesn't move as well. Alright, so if you follow this particular side of the uh, light assembly, you'll see that it it goes into this little box here in the ditch. Let's take a closer in look at it. In the first video I showed you how I was going to power this up, but we'll do another review. Here's my uh, lead acid batteries. Oh, I don't know, about 20 amp hours worth. That gets, uh, that goes directly into this little controller that was uh, home brewed by Michael, uh, a friend of mine. And uh, it's uh, just controls the flash pattern. Right now it's at four flashes and then a pause. Off to the side of that are two more, uh, two channels for the flashing, or one for each string. So here's one string and here's the other string. In this particular case, that would be the southbound side of the road and the northbound. If I put an on and off switch in line here to make it easier for one of my parking attendants to just to turn the system on when it gets dark, to turn the lights on. And then on the outside here is the connections that goes to each run. Okay, I've hooked them all up, put the gaffer's tape down. I'm not sure if you can see the blinking in the daytime. There is a little bit. Hard to see in the daytime. We'll come back at night and we'll show you.